and gentlemen, this is Robert Trout bringing you some great news for 1955. News about the amazing new Motoramic Chevrolet. Never before has any new car caused such national interest and excitement. And we now bring you this special camera report to show you why. Let's begin our camera report at the world's foremost development center, the General Motors Proving Ground. New from the ground up. Yes, the astounding fact is that the 1955 Chevrolet is not just a new model, but a completely new car. From tires to top, from bumper to bumper, the 1955 Chevrolet is completely redesigned and re-engineered to a new concept of motoring pleasure and performance. Your camera report now takes you to Chevrolet Engineering. The main strength of this amazing car is its new massive frame a full 14 inches wider at the front and 50% more rigid. Notice there is no apparent second cross member. Actually, a unique structural arch supplies amazing cross member strength as a super rigid link between frame and body. And it's a completely new body too. The new twin guard body by Fisher that puts a double wall of steel around us for greater strength and protection. Still another new concept. Outrigger rear suspension. Rear springs are outside the frame, as wide apart as possible, following the same principle of continuous balance used by the famous Outrigger canoe. In the 1955 Chevrolet, it means tremendous new rear end stability, especially on curves. And matching the new rear suspension is the revolutionary new glide ride front suspension system the most fully developed independent front suspension unit in the world. It gives the 1955 Chevrolet driving and riding advantages found on no other car. The parade of major engineering changes continues. Completely new axles, plus completely new power team components. New tubeless tires, a softer ride, new resistance to blowouts, new freedom from tire squeal a lower center of gravity to a new point of road-hugging equilibrium. That's just part of the story. Our special camera report now shows you what all these new engineering features mean for you and me. Quadrapoise ride, perfect four-point balance over any highway, is a completely new sensation of riding and handling ease. You can see we're riding the rugged Belgian blocks. Yet the tubeless tires, new frame, and new front and rear suspension units retain their balanced poise. They soak up the shock so effectively that inside the car we seem to literally float over the most rugged test strip in the world. And watch closely as we come to a stop. Brakes on hard, yet we retain comfortable level flight balance. The 1955 Chevrolet effectively controls discomforting front end dive. It's an exclusive Chevrolet feature, made possible by the special counterbalance design of the new Glide Ride front suspension unit. When you apply the new pivot pedal brakes, or the optional new power brake, this ingenious new front suspension unit automatically counteracts the normal tendency to nosedive. You feel safer and more confident behind the wheel of this new Chevrolet. And that feeling grows when you turn the wheel and feel the smooth response of the new standard equipment, ball race steering, which uses a smooth action ball bearing system. And for the ultimate in steering ease, the 1955 Chevrolet offers optional power touch power steering, a completely new development for the Motoramic Chevrolet. And still another exclusive feature the massive new structural arch that binds body to chassis with new rigidity is also the heart of the ideal heating and ventilating system long sought by automotive engineers. This heating system provides two distinct temperature levels. This is truly comfort zone heating and ventilating. And the beautiful new Motoramic Chevrolet is the only car in its field advanced enough to have it. The hood-high air intake assures the cleanest, freshest possible air. New simplified controls let you select the precise temperature you like. In the coldest weather, your feet and lower body keep warm and comfortable. And yet at head level, you breathe comfortably cooler air. And for the ultimate in comfort, 
Chevrolet is first in its field to offer an optional all seasons air conditioner, the last word in everyday driving comfort. That's just the story of the new concept in riding comfort and handling ease. There's more great news in the 1955 Chevrolet's new power story. New motoramic power. And in the 1955 Chevrolet, that means power for every purse and purpose. Unmatched performance and economy. And the greatest choice of completely new power teams in the industry. Three new valve and head engines. Three great transmissions. Three new rear axles, offered in six great new power teams. The new Turbo Fire V8 engine, most compact, most advanced power plant in the industry. 162 horsepower, with new fire swirl combustion chambers, and a full 8 to 1 compression ratio. The new Blue Flame 136, the newest, most completely developed six-cylinder valve and head engine in the world. It's Power Mate, the new Blue Flame 123. Its peak efficiency design makes this the economy rated engine of the year. All these engines offer years ahead benefits from their advanced features design. A new 12 volt electrical system, double rate to meet new power demands. New power hushed cooling with fan speed below engine speed for far quieter operation. New LubraGuard crankcase, better safeguarding of high compression close tolerances. New poised power engine mounts, an exclusive Chevrolet developed power cradle that virtually eliminates any feeling of engine vibration. The new Motoramic Chevrolet offers you the best in the kind of driving you prefer. For conventional driving, the all new Quiet Ease Synchro Mesh Transmission matched with the new Tiptoe Magic High Capacity Clutch for the quietest, easiest, non-automatic shifting in Chevrolet history. And you can choose a conventional driving team headed up by either the Power Pack Turbo Fire V8 engine or the economy leader new Blue Flame 123. For the finest automatic driving at any price, the re-engineered Super Smooth Power Glide Automatic Transmission always the finest in its field, now the finest choice in the industry for unbelievable performance and economy. Choose either the ultra-new Turbo Fire V8 engine or the peak efficiency new Blue Flame 136 to power this super automatic driving team. And for something entirely new in combined performance and economy, the Motoramic Chevrolet offers new touchdown overdrive. Convenient no-clutch shifting below 30 miles per hour. Second gear starts in traffic that reduce city driving effort a full 50%. And on the open highway, traditional overdrive economy in new generous Chevrolet proportions. For this all-new overdrive transmission, there's a choice of either the Turbo Fire V8 engine or the new Blue Flame 123 for flashing power and performance combined with gas miser economy. Never has a new car offered so many new exclusive features and driving benefits or such a totally different experience in motoring pleasure. Truly, in its new motoramic styling with its new quadrupoise ride and harness to new power beyond compare, the 1955 Chevrolet is much more than a new model. It's a new concept in low-cost transportation. This is the big news, the great news for all of us for 1955. Chevrolet is its remarkable riding and handling ease in the city. 
on the highway, around the sharpest curves, over the roughest roads. In a new Chevrolet, you get the safest, most stable, most comfortable ride you've ever known. The reason is modern engineering. To Chevrolet, that means simpler designs of parts and components, so they work better and last longer. The new Chevrolet chassis is a classic example. Its outstanding performance is largely built around two simple principles, engineered to operating perfection. First, for all-around strength, nothing is structurally better than a box. This is just ordinary cardboard, but because it's shaped into a box design, it easily supports the weight of a 200-pound man. Let's see how this design is used in the new Chevrolet. The box girder frame is a famous Chevrolet first, but in its new design, it is 50% more rigid than ever before. One reason is that the various box sections of the frame are bigger and wider. Another reason is that with straighter side members and stronger front and rear cross member attachments, the entire frame is virtually a rectangular box. But here's the main reason. A completely new design for the important front suspension cross member. In the 1954 frame construction, the front cross member was a separate unit. The front suspension was attached to this cross member, then the unit was bolted to the frame. It was good engineering. But Chevrolet engineers had a better idea. The front cross member is built right into the new Chevrolet frame. Precision drilling spots the attachment points for the front suspension. Then you've got what they call an integrated unit. Much stronger and much more stable. This simply means you don't have to worry about taking your new Chevrolet over wicked roads. The world's toughest test roads have already proved that. And here's more proof. You get plenty of extra strength and stability in the new Chevrolet. Where else in the new Chevrolet frame can we use the natural strength of the box? Well, here's an important place, at the frame ends. At both front and rear, the new bumper attachments make box-like structures with new strength and rigidity. And again, where most cars have a second cross member, the new Chevrolet has another kind of box. It's a unique structural arch called a plenum chamber and it helps bind the body to the chassis in a new and stronger way. These additional boxes give you additional benefits. The new structural arch makes an added contribution to greater riding and handling ease. The other hidden boxes in the new bumper design give you extra protection against careless drivers. How much? Watch closely. This regular production new Chevrolet has no special reinforcement of any kind. And here's the result. Just front end sheet metal damage. In the new Chevrolet, there's plenty of extra strength for your safety and protection inside the car. That's how important the simple box can be. Now let's see how resourceful modern engineering can be with another simple principle. Nothing is easier to move around than a ball. And a ball can move in one direction as easily as another. The new Chevrolet front suspension takes full advantage of this principle. Here is true ball suspension. Two balls are used in place of the usual hinge type connections at these joints. The new ball joint is more durable and more trouble free. Its new flexibility permits elimination of old fashioned kingpins and it leads to other important design changes. First, the front coil springs and shock absorbers are now inclined toward the center of the car. This gives Chevrolet's famous knee action new freedom to soak up the shock of rough roads. Second, 
Chevrolet ball suspension makes possible a revolutionary new and exclusive braking feature. This simplified drawing shows how with the old hinge type connection, the upper control arm is kept parallel to the lower one. This is also true of conventional ball type connections. But the new Chevrolet's fully developed ball suspension permits placing the upper control arm at a carefully determined angle to the lower one. And at this angle position, it automatically counteracts the usual front end dive when you put on the brakes. Only the new Chevrolet gives you this extra comfort and assurance. And third, the new Chevrolet has a completely new steering system designed to work with the new ball suspension. Here, the principle of the ball is used again to give you easier, better handling control. This is an underneath view of the new Chevrolet's steering linkage. These are the links between the front wheels and the steering gear. These linkage joints are precisely located so the entire system works like a series of balls turning on perfect centers. For example, most of the time, both front wheels are on the same level when they turn. But the ideal steering system is designed so that when one wheel is above or below the other, you still have what the engineers call true steering geometry. This simply means easy, sure steering in any and all driving situations instant response in any emergency, safe, sure control under smooth sailing or rough. You get this kind of steering in the new Chevrolet. And here's another reason why. Under the hood, inside the standard steering gear unit, you find a Chevrolet feature formerly available only with power steering. Free rolling balls again. Only Chevrolet in its field uses them in the standard steering gear. And with almost no resistance, they start the front wheels turning the moment you turn the steering wheel. Here's the smoothest standard steering there is, and that assurance of easy control that makes for sheer enjoyment of driving. In a new Chevrolet, you always have that assurance. Because here we go again with extra performance and dependability in action. But we're not quite through with the ball. Let's talk about sheer stability. It is often assumed that the heavier a car is, the better it rides and handles. Actually, total weight is not really important. What is important is correct scientific weight distribution. All of the car's weight must be precisely balanced or sprung, as the engineers put it, around an imaginary point called the center of gravity. You get this in a new Chevrolet, plus a lower center of gravity than ever, plus a wider front tread for better front end control, and plus a completely new rear suspension system. The rear springs are the longest in the field, and are placed outside the frame for better rear end control. The total result, almost unbelievable overall stability. And watch this. Here's more evidence of the extra reserve built into every new Chevrolet. from the box and the ball. Two simple principles engineered to perfection to give you the kind of riding and handling ease often dreamed of and now achieved in the new Chevrolet.
the new Chevrolet, you get all of the big, important things you want and need in a really modern automobile. Magnificent new styling, both inside and out. Wonderful new comfort in both basic body design and interior appointments. Riding and handling ease you must experience to really appreciate, and power and performance the low price feel has never known. But that's only half the story. Chevrolet's modern engineering carries every major feature at least one step further to give extra features you find on no other car in Chevrolet's price class. That means extra pleasure, extra safety, and extra convenience in your daily driving. Here's a new multi-million dollar road improvement program in the making. A citywide network of modern expressways. Here's proof of another new road improvement development. It's the unique front ball suspension system that lets you go places you might hesitate to go with any other car. You like hunting and fishing? Go right in deep to your favorite secret haunts. This car can take those murderous wagon trails, and so can you. And you'll roll home with a new feeling of relaxed comfort. With its new ball suspension system, new inclined knee action shock absorbers and coil springs, the new Chevrolet has such front-end stability, the old-fashioned stabilizer bar is no longer needed. Extra features? Watch this. Fun, huh? But hey, doesn't this wash the lubricant off the ball connections in the front suspension? Probably, just as in normal driving, when sudden squalls flood roads and highways. But the new Chevrolet has revolutionary non-metallic bearing liners around the ball connections. That means longer, more trouble-free operation in all your driving, plus extra protection under extreme conditions. And here's more extra protection. Chevrolet's famous jumbo drum brakes, the largest in the field. Safe, sure stopping every time. That's important. And so is split second warning to the driver behind you. Extra safety. And you get it only in the new Chevrolet. The stoplight switch is the safe mechanical type, completely independent of the hydraulic brake system. So regardless of brake adjustment, the instant you touch the brake pedal, your stoplights flash on. And in the new Chevrolet, the brake pedal linkage and stoplight switch are up inside the car, away from road splash. Extra protection, extra assurance of working efficiency. And the new Chevrolet adds still another extra exclusive braking feature. The normal tendency to a front-end nosedive is automatically counteracted. A completely new feeling of comfort and assurance. And you get it only in the new Chevrolet. Now, meet Miss Darlene Dalton, a real genuine outdoor girl. As you might suspect, Miss Dalton in action is something to see. A one-sport girl? Uh-uh, not Miss Dalton. There are sports and sports. And this one involves a new Chevrolet. Take a gander down the track. An interesting challenge to anyone's steering ability. But watch this. It seems Miss Dalton has her own way of doing things. Unconventional, perhaps, but it proves a point. Chevrolet's modern engineering gives something extra in standard steering ease. An exclusive free rolling ball race system. The smoothest standard steering there is. Here's a new way to keep warm.
makes smooth steering plus a short, short turning radius. It's easy on a motorcycle or in a new Chevrolet. With less body overhang, both front and rear, and better weight distribution, the new Chevrolet gives you the shortest turning radius in its field, plus easier front wheel control. This all adds up to effortless handling ease on the road and extra driving pleasure. And rear end stability, more Chevrolet bonus engineering. Longer, softer acting, outrigger mounted rear springs give extra rear seat riding comfort. But let's stop here and go back to the beginning of this trip. All around this car, you find extra consideration for the owner. One key for all the locks. A trunk lid counterbalanced through its full travel, both up and down. Rounded trunk lid corners for extra safety. The lowest trunk sill in Chevrolet's field by many inches. Easier loading and unloading. A driver-centered glove compartment, angled down so things fall in instead of out. And for coffee breaks on the road, another extra. Windshield wipers, the dependable cable type with the motor outside the passenger compartment for quieter operation. And you simply turn the headlamp switch to check the back seat situation. When they're locked, rear door handles freewheel harmlessly, standard on all Chevrolet four-door models. And when they're unlocked, the most convenient rear seat exit and entry in Chevrolet's price class. Plus the extra convenience of keyless locking on all doors. And you get plenty of extra going features especially with Chevrolet's remarkable new Turbofire V8 engine, the smoothest, quietest, high-power V8 engine in the business. And it should be. The complete engine is precision mass balance after assembly in unique electronically operated machines. These machines automatically determine how much the engine is out of balance and then automatically bring it into balance. Only Chevrolet in the entire industry takes this extra step with such ultra-modern machines. And the result? The smoothest, quietest power from the engine with the best power-to-weight ratio in Chevrolet's field for either conventional or automatic driving. And for lowest cost automatic driving, here's the only six-cylinder engine in Chevrolet's field with extra quiet extra efficient hydraulic valve lifters, plus an automatic downshift for flashing starts and surging passing power. Extra performance, extra quality, extra value. You get them all in the new Chevrolet, all because Chevrolet's modern engineering goes one step further. misconceptions bother them. 
For example, you hear a lot of talk about horsepower, but what really counts is road torque, twisting power at the rear wheels. And in a well-engineered car, it's the end result of a lot of things besides just horsepower. High engine torque, or twisting power. Smooth, efficient torque multiplication at the transmission. Precisely matched rear axles to take advantage of that power. Better weight distribution to get more weight distributed over the rear wheels for better traction. And a better power to weight ratio, that is, more actual power per pound of car weight. You get all these things in the new Chevrolet. And it all comes out in, well, for example, the power to pull every other full-size car on the market. 16 different makes from a dead start. Not just horsepower, road power. The most effective power at the rear wheel. That's what counts. And that's what the new Chevrolet has. And the proof? Torque talks. Dynamometers measure the torque output of every engine make. A special torque wheel replaces one of the regular rear wheels to measure the actual amount of torque delivered at the road. At all speeds and under all driving conditions, the result shows up on the torque meter. In fuel consumption tests, a device called a burette measures the exact amount of gas used at different speeds. And with split-second accuracy, the electronic time distance oscillograph measures accelerating ability, automatically printing time, distance, and speed on paper tape. Interpreting the facts and figures gathered from such impersonal test equipment, the engineers take, for them, a very positive stand. Translated, this all means the new Chevrolet can outperform Ford and Plymouth six ways to Sunday. And the proof, again. A kind of match race, but under ideal conditions and using standard performance tests recognized throughout the industry. Three cars from comparable series price-wise and all equipped with standard V8 engines and automatic transmissions. All three drivers are professionals, members of NASCAR, National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing, and have no connection with any automotive company. They drew their cars by lot for the first test and will alternate thereafter. And for every test, the same instructions. Leave the transmission in normal drive. Ram the accelerator to the floor. These conditions rule out driver skill as a factor. They leave everything to the cars and the engineering inside them. Are you all ready? Ready for the first test. Accelerating ability. Watch the starting flag. Getting ready for a second run in the other direction. grade is about double the average grade on any public highway. And to hit 70-some miles an hour in a few seconds takes plenty of road power. The new Chevrolet does it easily. 
ready at the start line. deeper 16% grade, the difference in effective road power is even more marked. take San Francisco's steepest hill. This grade was built to match it. It offers the toughest test of smooth, effective road power when you have to climb it from a standing start on the grade itself. tire squeal? Here's where it came from. The transmission here is overgeared to compensate for an engine weak on starting torque. The result is poor traction under extreme conditions, even on dry pavement. The other car doesn't have this problem, but it doesn't get any real bite either. Now watch the new Chevrolet dig in. And even with all its extra power, the new Chevrolet uses less gas than either Ford or Plymouth at every cruising speed. Surprising, isn't it? Better gas economy at 30 miles per hour, right on up to 70 miles per hour. But it's not really surprising. Every proving ground torque measuring device shows that the new Chevrolet, at every speed from zero on up, develops more effective road power than Ford or Plymouth. And for your prospects, this means more enjoyable power. Thrilling response at the start, surer response for the past. More dependable power. The power to go wherever you want to go. And more efficient and economical power. Exactly the power you need when you need it. In every driving test, on the flat straightaway or up the steepest grade, the new Chevrolet completely outperforms Ford and Plymouth in both power and economy, in both V8 and six-cylinder performance. Talk about horsepower. Why? It's torque that really talks. on the year's most amazing story of engineering achievement. Yes, this is the climax. But the story really begins nearly 1,400 miles away and many months earlier, back in October 1954. A startlingly new and different car is announced to the low price field. Even the Chevrolet engineers who designed this car are impressed with the way it meets every conceivable driving test. Standard steering, super smooth, 
front ball suspension. Soaks up road shock like a sponge for remarkable riding ease. Overall stability. Tremendous. Frame and body strength. Almost unbelievable. And power, power to spare. Power to pull 16 different driverless cars from a dead start. The performance clincher, stock car races all over the country. A new champion with amazing ability to dig in on the curves and get away fastest on the straightaways. No wonder they're proud of this car and its record. And no wonder they wonder what new records the new 1956 Chevrolet will set. This new beauty brings still greater power and performance to the low price field. But how much greater? That's the nagging question to be answered September 9th near beautiful Colorado Springs. But what's this? Actually a 1956 Chevrolet, carefully camouflaged because the climactic performance test comes many weeks before announcement day. And the test itself, a certified high-speed run up rugged old Pikes Peak, America's most famous mountain, and a continuing challenge to automotive engineers. The terrain, the road conditions, and the terrific altitude make this a truly punishing test for any conventional car racing the clock. The car pulls into the waiting point a few hundred feet below the start line. And just before the attempt to smash all previous records, Chevrolet people gather for a last quick check with the driver. A great deal depends on his confidence in the car. Plenty of confidence reflected here. The start line is at the 9,000 foot level. Timing officials from NASCAR, National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing, get their electric eye timing device ready for the running start. Approach flag, and he's off. The sizzling official start is flashed to the electronic timers up at the finish line, 14,110 feet above sea level. It's a long way to that craggy peak in the distance. 12 twisting, climbing, tortuous miles under the most extreme high-speed driving conditions. Turbofire V8 engine shows its work. 205 horsepower working smoothly at every altitude. Ample reserve power for the sudden spurt. as important as high power. This is also a supreme test for road ability. Safe, sure ride control all the time. Smooth, effortless steering response. Here's real road power, digging in to get going without wasted effort. Deliberate controlled skids save precious seconds on tight turns. Extra cornering ability, and that means getting around curves safer and faster.
performance all the way. But what about that record? The electronic timer holds the answer. And it's astounding. 12 and a half miles to the top of Pikes Peak in only 17 minutes, slashing the old record by more than two minutes. A new record, a new champion. Congratulations are in order. But before the new record is accepted, NASCAR officials carefully check the car to make sure it's strictly stocked in every respect. They accept it. And that's the story of the Colorado Climax. But not the end of the story for you. You may never want to race to the top of Pike's Peak, but you do want dependable power and superior handling ease. The thrilling response of the car engineered to perform superbly under every driving condition. And whether your engine is the new Blue Flame 6, with its exciting new 140 horsepower and 8 to 1 compression ratio, the high performance Turbofire V8, now up to 170 horsepower, or the peak powered new Super Turbofire V8, with its new 205 horsepower and increased compression ratio, you'll get a thousand new thrills behind the wheel of the new Chevrolet, the car that wrote the Colorado Climax.